Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this week's edition of I Got The Runs, where we do a quick flashback to this week's Flash episode. The answer to last week's flashback, the color of your lightning when you're running has a speed that shows how fast you're actually moving. So if your color is red, then you're actually moving quite slow. But if your color is closer to blue and indigo, you're actually moving closer to your top speed as a speedster. We start the episode off, some terrorists are walled up in the Argus and let off a nuclear bomb because they just don't give a f The nuclear bomb goes off and Barry goes it's, and it shows his power where he's able to stop time. Now, how he's able to do this and villains are able to turn the corner and he lose them still boggles the mind, but we're gonna let that go for now. So a nuclear reaction is going off, and they gotta figure out what to do. So of course, running out of town. We can't do that because there's not enough time. Jesse literally just ran to another dimension to get Jay Carrot, but you don't got enough time to do this. Barry literally had time to run Star Labs, but you don't got time to run the ball out of town. Step two, Cisco can breach it. I can't because I preached too much today and um, I could have had a V8 but I didn't and because we're going so fast I can't breach the bomb. Fuck. You know who else is there? Caitlyn. Why not go to Killer Frost and she can use her power to slow down the reaction. They literally run past Caitlyn. They're like okay what can we do? They run to Wells. They pull him out of time so he's moving with them in the speed force like Wells what can we do? He's like, throw the nuclear reactor, throw the nuclear bomb into the speed force, and it should save the world. I say, like, okay, cool. Jay Garrett shows up. Bear's like, okay, we're gonna throw it to the speed force to save us. And Jay Garrett's like, you can't do that, because that would destroy the speed force and our powers. You can save the city by throwing this in there, but I gotta keep my power. You greasy bitch. So they go and un uh, finally untap Killer Frost. But unfortunately, Killer Frost, Frost can't do it because the speed force is zapping her and she can't do it because her powers are acting weird. They're trying to figure out how we're gonna stop this. Jesse's like, let's throw lightning at it. Yeah, let's throw lightning at a nuclear bomb. Why the fuck not? Okay, cool. So they all line up. It's Jesse Quick, it's Barry Allen, and it's Jay Garrett. And they run and they throw lightning. And Jesse hurls hers, and Barry hurls his, and then Jay catches a little case of the old man, like, I can't finish the race. Oh uh, God, my ass, like, hey yo, let me take a knee on this one. Hey, y'all can handle this, right? Just make sure none of us die, and then he steps out of the speed force, and then everyone's like, what the fuck? You were the main one, like, hey, let's save the speed force, and you drop out on us? Oh, we get to the point, Barry runs with the speed force, he's pulling lightning, left and right, like he's shopping at Walmart, and then he runs alongside of a car like an asshole, and then hits the nuclear reaction, thus stopping it. The Savage Award of this episode is that terrorist lady. The Duda Award of this episode goes to both Jay Garrett and JC Quick, because they didn't do nothing. They didn't do a damn thing. Now it's time for this week's flash fact. Who was the voice actor of Barry Allen in the Young Justice cartoon? Thank you guys for joining us for this episode of I Got The Runs. This episode was honestly slightly better than I, we expected, but that's not saying much. Uh, until next time, you know, like, subscribe. We got plenty of videos for you to watch. And until next time, peace.